Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here. Today we're going to help you get Dark and Darker installed and working along with their custom launcher. Let's download the launcher first. Blacksmithinstaller.exe will save it to downloads. Next up, we're going to open up Steam and we're going to add that as a non-Steam game, just like we would do with any other launcher. And we will add the blacksmith installer.exe and then find it on our list of installed apps. We will go in and select Proton Experimental for our compatibility layer because we have to have something for a non Steam game. Proton Experimental is a good place to start. We'll hit play and you'll see that the standard installer pop up shows up and we are ready to install. All right, we'll follow the uh, instructions, but we will not run it. We'll just hit finish. Next up, we are going to go to Dolphin File Manager. We're going to split our screen. On one side, we're going to put our compat data folder and find the latest Proton prefix made, drill in, and go to drive C. Then take wherever you're going to install the games to. I In my previous videos, I've showed you I like to have a folder called games that all my lockers install to. I'm going to make a sim link over here to my drive C. That's where I'm going to install the game to. That way it's not actually in the Proton prefix. Next, we have to find the executable for the launcher itself. Now we're going to go into Iron Mace here and you would be tempted to choose blacksmith.exe. That's what we're going to choose. We're going to grab the location by copy location. Did I mention a mouse and keyboard are recommended? And then we're going to paste it in here with double quotes around it because Valve screwed up and messed it up. Then we're going to copy that whole thing and paste it in the start in and remove the EXE. This is the standard nonsense we have to do since Valve won't fix their bug. Okay, so now we have the proper launcher, or at least we think so, and we hit play. And unfortunately, um, nothing happens. That is the wrong executable. Of course, you don't know that going in, but you know, through experimentation and a lot of cutout video, you'll figure out that's what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and go back in yeah, I tried it a second time. I'm going to go back in and change it from the launcher that we saw, the e, the straight EXE, which of course isn't there. Fortunately, I have the whole path right here in my clipboard. All I have to do is take that EXE off of there. That'll take me right back to that folder. A little hint there for you. Now we're going to choose blacksmithbootstrap.exe. That is the one that we have to have. Did you see my mistake? Ah, some of you caught it, some of you didn't. I made a mistake and it's not going to launch. We all know why. It's because I forgot to put the double quotes around the uh, target. God, I hate Steam for this. So now go back to your target, put double quotes at the beginning, double quotes at the end. Ridiculous, totally ridiculous. Okay, and then we're ready to try again. Something tells me we're going to have a lot more luck this time. It's good to know the future. Okay, so we see the logo pop up. So far, so good. Did I mention I hate third-party digital lockers? I hate them. Ooh, you see all that flickering going on? I'm sorry if you don't have a mouse and keyboard. So we're going to go ahead and register. I registered. I signed in. Now I need to purchase. I didn't figure you'd want to see that whole registration process. It sucked. Okay, so I'm going to purchase the lowest cost edition. My video here will not even make this money back. So I'm uh, I'm going out of pocket on this one, folks. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go through the purchase process. I just wanted you to see a little bit of it. Now we're back and, um, oh, it's just sitting there. Okay, let me close my browser here real quick. So I can't actually play. Even though I purchased it, it's just sitting there with a countdown timer. Well, we're not going to wait for that. We're going to close it and we're going to launch it again. Patience, patience. Oh, so much for keeping me logged in. All right, so I'm going to type in my password again. By the way, again, good luck with this. It sucks. Okay, so now we're ready to install. Now, remember, I created a sim link to my games folder in my home directory. You could have a games folder on your micro SD card. I'm going to change over. I'm going to browse to my computer, the fake C drive, and there's that games folder. See, remember Overwatch was in there? 
Now I'm ready to install, and it will not install inside the Proton Prefix. It'll install in a nice centralized location called Games. We're not going to do the whole install here for you folks. I'm going to speed this thing up, and we are ready to play. God, does it work? I hope so after all this work, right? Show me potato salad. Yes, there's a long, long load here. I left it all in so that you can make sure that you're not experiencing something that I didn't experience, which is a long load. And it is a long load. Now, I'll take this opportunity to tell you I have not yet got this working in gaming mode. The launcher will not even come up in gaming mode. You'll have to play this from the desktop mode. I don't like it. Nobody likes it. Nobody wants to play from the desktop mode. Welcome to the Monroe World household where there's always a dog barking somewhere in my videos. And I might not even be able to clip this one out. Yes, it's still loading, folks. You want to play the latest games on the Steam Deck? You got to pay the penalty. And you have to listen to my dog's bark. There we go. It's up. Okay, so now um, dark and darker. Hit OK. Oh, by the way, before you try to just launch the game EXE by itself and hope it launches the locker for you, doesn't work. I already tried it. There you go. The game is running. That's all I promise, folks. I promise I get the launcher going, and I promise I get the game going. This is it. If there's any further information I need to disseminate, I'll do another video. If you like what you saw, if I helped you out today, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. I appreciate each and every one of you. Leave a comment. I will read them. I'm Shane Armonroe. Thanks so much for watching, and take care.